I'm Donald Beekman. I'm a graphic designer and a type designer. My name is Albert Jan Paul. I'm a type designer. I hardly use uh, somebody else's fonts because I think I'm using somebody else's work. I'm stealing from somebody else. I've lost that feeling a little bit since the beginning, but that was really the main objective to design my own type. I mean, lettering on in your designs for a CD cover or LP cover or a book cover or the lettering is such an essential part of the design. I thought, well, it should, the letters should also be completely designed by me to make it my design. It sort of felt like stealing even if it was from some old type designer that died a long time ago, it felt like I should design at least the headline fonts should be really mine because those are the ones that are sticking out. So I really felt like if I want to be a designer, I also have to design the letters on it. Teaching other people to do type design uh, keeps keeps the brain fresh and uh, keeps keeps things alive and keeps things funny and nice and yeah the. It's, uh, it's always very uh, inspiring, not just because my students uh, do serifs like this, I'm going to do it the same way, but, but it's just the environment you need that uh, the thing you're in is alive. And I think I would never uh, be able to, uh, to work for years on some type designs without uh, some interaction with, uh, with other people. So you can't, in the end you must do it alone. But you can't be on your own for years. That, uh, you have to. You need other people doing the same thing. <laughs> it's an ongoing struggle. I never find time for anything. You also left with the feeling you are doing everything half. You know, like, like, oh, I should be. You know, there's always in the back of my mind like there's these 17 projects I still lay, lying on the shelf that need to be finished. So it's frustrating. I should want never like I, you probably heard this before, but I, I, I want to clone myself and put everything, every clone, every four or five clones to work, and I have one one doing the kerning, one doing the, one doing the bookkeeping, you know, yeah, mini Donalds that would be good. <laughs> I'm still working on Din Round. It's almost finished, <laughs> as everybody knows. We just finished uh, Kyrillics for all the existing weights of FFDIN. We just finished uh, condensed italic. The next thing will be to extend the normal family of DIN, so we will have thin and extra thin, or whatever you call it. We will have uh, blacker versions. Also, completing the Greek uh, sets uh, for the for the regular versions of DIN will be important for the yeah, for the international marketing for for market for packaging for larger corporate design projects that's uh, you can't do without it these days so that's the next logical steps i live on a ship in the amstel and like 200 meters from my ship is the berlagebrug which is part of a, a plan that the, the building master of amsterdam uh, hendrik peter berlage designed he designed the whole area and there's like a, 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 an inscription that says Berlagebrug and that lettering I really so it was it I caught my eye and I bike use my bicycle and I bike there by there about six seven times a day so I see it a lot and I thought well maybe I sometimes should make sort of a digital version of that and, and out of that came the idea well maybe it's a good idea to do some research for a change and not because I tend to produce a lot of put out a lot of stuff and like just you know, go research and see what he's done and what he's designed. So that turned into a sort of research project of Berlage's typography. And now I'm sort of making that concrete into a family of typefaces for a font shop. I don't have to take care uh, of many things, things that uh, do not really belong to design. Uh, so I do the design, I look into the production, I take care that everything is done well, but I, I'm not involved with marketing, I'm not involved with web programming, with shops to design or whatever. So I'm very happy that, uh, that I'm just able to focus uh, on the things I like. But of course, when you, are, when you are a good, when you are not only a good designer and also a good marketeer, then there might be a reason to go in there. But I think most people are either the one or the other. <laughs> There's not so, there are people that can do both. But 
not that much. Well, I could, though I have hardly find the time to finish the fonts, let alone do the marketing and the distribution of the whole thing. So I'm very happy with Font Shop that they're taking over that job, because I would never be able to do that myself. Not in the way that Font Shop does it, so it's a perfect match for me. It's, it works really well, I think.